Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, for the for the rest for this month, I'm doing a bunch of Christmas reviews. Um, right, my first one I'm gonna do is the one that movie I haven't seen before. I haven't seen before this. It was um, it's called Screws. It has Bill Murray in it. It was um, made back in 1988. So, and it's kind of like being fun of them, the Christmas Carol movie. That's what that's what's doing. Um, so basically, he's a, it's like a the modern day, what Scrooge would have been like in the modern day, or back then, modern day, back in the 80s, because, um, it has to do with, um, him being, uh, it's name, it's name, I forgot the character's name in there, so we're just gonna call him Bill Murray, so it's basically that's the way he is, it's being Bill Murray, as if he was Scrooge, so, just like in Christmas Carol, he has to deal with, um, d seeing ghosts and having to deal with his past and why he came so bitter and stuff like that. So this in this version, the ghost, like Jacob Marley, is his old boss. So he he looks and he looks he looks really dead. So he does what he usually does in Christmas Carol. When the Nicholas Christmas past is a taxi driver, he like comes into the um, into us in the taxi, like asking to go somewhere. Instead, he takes him to the past. So, so like for him is like like the fifties and sixties. Then we see like him with his, his old girlfriend and as a kid and stuff like that. His old girlfriend, he is and unlike in the unlike in the Screws version. His old girlfriend still likes him. He it's seem they both still like each other, but he just he just went off and got bitter. So she still wants to, she still likes to be with him. She wants to be with him, but he decided he chose his um TV career over him. He like chose. To, instead of like going on a. On a, like a TV, going on a, like a dinner date with their with their friends, he chose to like be, wear a dog pop costume so he can get higher up. And he's been doing that for a while with her. So he, she had, and after he saw the past, he went after her again and found out he she's like feeding the homeless and he doesn't like that. And that's when like the Christmas present. Ghost comes, and we and that it was like a way. He dressed as a fairy, and we like see him. We see his brother instead of nephew. He has a brother, and it's a brother instead. And he gets his pre his pre his brother gets a present that was meant for um his secretary. Was this supposed to be like Bob Pratt? Is this from Bob Bob Cratchit? And so he got her her VCR and says something else. So, and Tiny Tim doesn't really have a, a Tiny Tim got kit version in this. He just can't talk. Talk because he lost his dad. So, and the whole entire thing with Christmas. So, that's the problem with them. Um, Tiny Tim in this. They really didn't explain the whole entire problem, what was wrong with him in the book. Like, no, we just know he just has stub leg. That's pretty much it. We don't know if that was the only problem. It seemed like there's more to it, but but this is this mainly him Mikey going crazy because he won't accept that his dad died and try to move on. So in the in the fu the future ghost it's basically, um, when we first see, we see, um, him, like, he's scared of the, this creep, the one that they're, they're doing for the TV show, because, um, he's, like, making a weird, bizarre version of Christmas Carol, but, well, he's actually have his own, his own Christmas Carol thing happen to him, where it's, like, basically, 
really being like mean spear by using Christmas Carol. Which what that's he's got like the he like missed the whole entire idea of it. So he he saw the person that's dressed up for Christmas for um for Christmas Ghost Christmas Future and thought it was the actual guy, but no, it wasn't. He spooked the guy that was playing him for the movie thing on the he that he's hosting. But when he actually goes up there, a guy that he fired because um he was trying he wanted to he had them continue going Christmas stuff. And stuff like that is out trying to shoot him. So, well, that's going. So, then we see uh, the guy that that looks like the guy dressed up like him. And he opens it because he thought it was the guy that's supposed to be down there playing Christmas future. Is actually his Christmas future, and we always see his bones and some and some people holding it up. <laughs> it was. Kind of funny, so, and they take he takes um to go and see um the Chinese Tim of this movie in a crazy asylum, and and we see his funeral. We see the um Bill Murray's funeral. Basically, unlike we see his brother show up and his fiance and his wife him, so. Then he like stops, tries to stop from them burning him, trying to stop burning his body, and, it, and he ends up being in there being burned. So he finds out what he's been doing wrong, and stuff like that, and he um says sorry and everything, but he does it like over the TV and almost gets fired for it because he like stops the entire Christmas Carol thing, and his boss gets mad at him. But uh, what the way it looks like that. Him saying sorry, sorry, sorry all the time to everybody on TV. So, and I think his boss is okay with it because he was like dancing the whole entire uh, dancing at the end. But first, he was mad and asking to fire him. But it looks like, and then at the very end of the movie, he's like talking to us audience about stuff, you know, like like telling us to sing, um, like a Christmas song, so or something. And it's my so it's my first time seeing this song, movie. I would have to say, it's very funny, but very mean spirited towards Christmas Carol by making because uh, none of the ghosts look like what they're supposed to. So we're a ghost Christmas future, I guess. So I know they're just trying to have fun with it and stuff like that. I would have to say I give it um. It's very funny, so I'll just mostly give it um, a 7 out of 10. And he gives it 3... 3 paws. 